So I went to an event today, it was at the Monash University uh, Barrett campus and it's basically it was an interactive presentation on nutrition, appetite and obesity and basically they had three presenters there, uh, one with the, was the head of nutrition and dietetics at Monash University, uh, the other one was some, I think a pharmacist, uh, Michael something or other and uh, a bariatric uh, surgeon, so someone who does surgery on fat people, uh, basically. And they talked about, that they, it says here, come and hear insights into the causes, effects, and treatment of obesity in modern society. Uh, apart from the fact that they didn't bring up a whole food plant-based diet the entire time, um, I just want to go over a few of the um, issues I had with the presentation uh, and so the first one was Helen from the Monash University uh, Nutrition and Dietetics who's the head of that uh, department and she had a whole presentation on childhood obesity and I was fine with the presentation in large I mean it really didn't say much that's why it was actually a waste of time uh, it took me an hour and a half to get there and it was an hour and a half lecture uh, afraid of the public that that is and it was just such a waste of time. Like, they didn't tell... There was nothing new. I mean, as soon as you see someone start to talk about BMI uh, in a presentation, you know the presentation is going to be boring. And, of course, they talked about all the the stuff that you hear all the time. You know, 60, over 60% 60 of uh, the um, adult population in Australia is uh, overweight or obese. Nothing new. All really boring stuff. Um, so, yeah, Helen started talking about... Uh, childhood obesity and she's really into that kind of thing and she's also talked about um, the need for portion control and I, I, I found this topic quite annoying because she talked about you know uh, uh, eating smaller portion sizes and then we eat too much food and I was thinking to myself this is exactly this is the complete opposite message of what you want to send people because when you're talking about healthy foods, you don't want to restrict healthy foods because when you restrict healthy foods, you eat more bad foods. So to say you need to portion control is really only applicable to junk foods because junk foods are calorie dense, they're at small volume and they've got lots of calories. Whereas uh, healthy foods, by and large, you know, with lots of fiber um, and carbohydrates, low in fat, are going to be very calorie dilute. So, she made the example of, say, uh, uh, well, actually, Michael, the pharmacist, made a, because uh, he was talking about obesity drugs, uh, he made the comparison of an, of an apple versus a donut. And he was talking about how people are going to pick up the donut and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, um, but I, was, I, I said to him, because they had an uh, interactive presentation afterwards, like q and I said to him afterwards, uh, you know, an apple and a donut are not equal because they're not substitute products. Uh, there is, let's say conservatively, there's like 200, uh, there's 300 calories in a donut, let's say conservatively. And you've got an apple which has roughly 80 calories. So you're comparing a 300 calorie product to a 80 calorie product and you're saying they're substitutes. And you're saying that people should pick up one apple. People are not gonna feel satisfied on one apple at all. You need to eat at least, uh, what is that, um, four apples, four to, uh, 320 calories, four apples to get the same amount of calories as in one donut. So the notion that you should be portion controlling, eating less, all this kind of stuff, and that we're eating too much food. We're not eating too much food. We're eating too many calories, yes, but we're not eating, and we're not eating enough volume. Um, I think we have a whole... There's a cultural issue uh, these days. There's social norms that say that uh, you have to eat a particular amount of food and that food these days is not enough because the foods um, uh, that are healthy require you to eat more of them. Um, they have a lot more water content. They have more fiber. They have more ca uh, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are calorie dilute compared to fats. Fats are 9 calories per gram. Uh, carbohydrates are four calories per gram by and large. So when you um, 
when you eat uh, healthy foods, you're going to need to eat a lot more of them. And I think that was the biggest problem with the presentation I had. And I had a few, I had a few questions afterwards about uh, you know, milk uh, and whether or not they should have that on the healthy eating guide and all that kind of stuff. And I was saying how saturated fat, cholesterol increases prostate cancer risk. Um, uh, it's also racial discrimination because you know most Asians can't drink milk without having uh, la they have a lactose intolerance. So you know, and sh she didn't buy any of that. And the funny thing was is that she, I, I said to her, um, or she said to me, uh, yeah, I'm really involved with um, giving the Australian dietary guidelines and uh, um, interacting with. Uh, the dairy industry, and I said, "Yeah, probably," as as if to say, you know, uh, of course you are. You you're either bought or you just have no idea. And I, I asked her about whole foods, plant based diet. She didn't even know what it is. She didn't even know what it is. And um, the ignorance was just crazy. Like I can't believe that someone can be the head of nutrition at uh, and dietetics at the probably uh, one of the foremost um, universities in Australia, you know, top 100 in the world and not know about a whole food plant-based diet, not know that you can reverse heart disease with a whole foods plant-based diet, low fat. Um, yeah, so I just thought that was crazy. Yeah, just share my thoughts. So, uh, there you go.